I'm not a medical expert, but as a meteorologist, I do look at charts, graphs, and use data every day, so I'm a little familiar with numbers. But even when I started hearing flatten the curve about a week ago, it took me a few times to figure out what it all meant. These are the observed active cases of COVID-19 in the United States. Clearly, the trend is up and it's been growing exponentially. Now, the idea behind flattening that curve starts out with what our healthcare system can handle. And the goal is to not reach or go above that capacity as they have in countries like Italy. It's kind of like roads in a city. If every person in the city got in their cars, left work and hit the roads, there would be gridlock. If the exponential increase in the number of infections keeps up, our healthcare system won't be able to handle it. The goal is to avoid that, and that's where flattening this curve comes in, trying to limit the number of cases at one time and spreading it out over time. It assumes the same number of people get sick, it just happens over that long period of time, not putting the, putting the burden or strain on our hospitals and healthcare systems. The medical community tells us the best way to flatten that curve is through social distancing, and that's why you keep hearing about it. In the newsroom, I'm meteorologist Ryan Breton. News Center, Maine.